Hello, and welcome to musicwithryan.com. Today, we are going to dive into Beginner Guitar 101 eCourse, Lesson 1 of 12. And in this first lesson, we're going to assume that you've never played guitar or barely picked it up and tried it. So we're going to cover many things in this first lesson to get us going, such as the parts of our guitar, names of our strings and how to tune it, holding the guitar, how to read a basic chord chart, some basic left and right hand technique, how to strum a little bit, learning to read tablature, which is a very common way of reading guitar music, and working through our first song, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. If you'd like to find out more information about my 12 lesson beginner guitar course, I encourage you to go over to my website and look for Beginning Guitar Course 101. Okay, and there you can check out in detail about each lesson. It's 12 lessons long. I recommend it doing over a six month period, two lessons a month. These are things and methods, uh, lessons and methods I've found that work really well to get the beginning guitarist going on the guitar, strumming and playing melodies. Included is an entire um, PDF beginner guitarist ebook with chord charts and the sheet music instruction, MP3 backing tracks for um, playing along with and practice, having someone to practice with, and over 12 hours of video. So it is a ton of video and a huge uh, resource and guide to learning the guitar. I want to thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go ahead and dive into this first lesson and you get a chance to see some of the parts and some of the things that we're going to cover in the first lesson. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the page and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, so let's check out the parts of our guitar. It's one of the first things we always wanna check out here. And uh, every guitar is, is a little different. So you might have different shaped body guitar. Okay, so this one is called a dreadnought, okay? This body type and it's big around the hips here it's you know just wider, bigger guitar. Now some will um, be skinnier in the hips right here, and just be just be in farther. We call those O bodies. And then some of them might be actually you might have a guitar that's cut away right here and simply call the cutaway, just kind of missing. And so there's goods and bads to all. I mean not really bad, just more pros and cons to all these guitars and different body types. And I'm not going to get in depth about it too much, but you know, dreadnoughts are usually louder and fuller. Um, o bodies are usually brighter, punchier, not as loud, and cutaways um, are kind of somewhere in between there. Um, they usually like a little brighter, a little more high end, and they usually play a little easier. The playability. Um, you could also have a classical guitar, which will have nylon strings. These have steel strings, of course. Um, this one. And you might have it, and then the neck on that nylon classical guitar is really thick. Um, the names of our strings, super important to know, and often kind of overlooked as people start playing, they forget the names of their strings, which is which is really no good. Because when I'm teaching people, I'm saying what string to put your finger, the E string, the D string. But you know, I'm telling you what string to put your finger, and if you don't know it, then we have to take longer to figure things out. So there's only six strings and it, sh it won't take you long to memorize them if you just do it a few times. Um, so if you want, you can write this down. And I would write it down uh, if you want to write from the top note then going downward. It's going to be a little backwards but this is how we're going to kind of read our tablature. But you want to write E. Okay, the first one is E, it's a skinny string, so I'd lowercase it, I write little E. And um, I'll have a, I guess I will have the paper, um, I'll have a handout you can, that'll have all this too, but maybe if writing's always good. B string, G string, D, A, E. Okay, E again. So as you see on the paper, I'll just have that paper made for you. But first string, we can say, this is the first string, or the high E string, okay? And down here is the sixth string, or the low E. And I have the low E capitalized, okay? So the big E, the thickest string, A, or sorry, E, A, D, G, B, E. All 
right, so all right, so I got a little different angle here, and the reason I did that is I want to go over holding our guitar, okay? It's super important that we get comfortable with our guitar because so many people can't seem to get comfortable. They, they just don't, oh shoot, you know? Like can't get comfortable with uh, their guitar in their lap, but we need to figure out a way that, um, you know, will work for us and seems appropriate. So there's a couple different ways, two main ways to hold of our, our guitar in general. And, and one way is kind of the way you see right here. I have the, the hip of the guitar in my right leg and my right arm and body are kind of around the guitar. So what happens is people like, I can't see my left hand, like they have to look over, you know, like, like that a little bit. So they want to change the guitar like this. We don't want to do that. We want to avoid that. We want to really make sure that, again, my arm isn't over top or something like this. I want my arm to come on the back edge of this guitar right here. I want the elbow almost to sit right there. And again, this hip, hip of the guitar on my thigh, okay? Um, and yeah, I get my right hands about right here. It's gonna be room for all this strumming. And yeah, we wanna make sure it's upright. And you will have to lean now your whole body, your whole upper body, not necessarily, you don't have to necessarily round, I mean, you're gonna have to round your back a little bit, which is unfortunate, right? It's horrible posture. But it kind of comes with playing the guitar, but we can just lean from the pelvis over. We can lean over a little bit with our whole 